Hello, Captains, and welcome back to more Let's Play Star Trek Online. I am on my character, Omega. He is a Romulan faction character, but a Reman, and he is aligned with the KDF. I am your host, Brent Justice, and we are back to doing patrols here in the Delta Quadrant. We are finishing up all of that. In the previous video, I started the first set of patrol missions called Friends in Unlikely Places. There were four systems we hit up. We did Argala, Jarleth, Borg Battlefield, and Ocampan Freighter. Today is the next patrol mission. This one is called Enemies in All the Usual Places. So you can see a theme going on here. Enemies in All the Usual Places. Now, let's look at see where it is in the storyline, or where it used to be. So, first of all, Friends in Unlikely Places, the previous one we just played, came between Reunion and Revelations, or it used to. And what that helped us learn is that there was this adversary out there. Uh, somebody who could take out the Borg, very powerful. And we learned those things, and we also discovered the cooperative a new faction of the Borg that are liberated Borg, something brand new. And then, after you play those patrols, then you play the actual real mission, Revelations, and that mission, we discover, of course, that it is the Vaudoir. But you see, you had all that buildup with the patrol before that, which leads to that, so it makes sense instead of just all of a sudden coming out of nowhere. Now, this next one called Enemies, in all the usual places, guess what? where it takes place? It takes place right after Revelations and uh, right before, let's see, looking what, what I got here. The Kobali front is what I have here is what it comes before. All that glitters, they must have moved the position of that. Yeah, they must have moved the position of all that glitters because check it out and the Kobali front. Check it out. The way that my I'm looking at this here, how this used to be set up, is you'd play Reunion, then Friends in Unlikely Places, then Revelations, and then the patrol we're going to do today called Enemies in All the Usual Places, and then you would do the Kobali Front. And this was actually part one of the Kobali Front. So you actually did that before all that glitters in the previous setup. After the Kobali front was another patrol called with friends like these and then it was all that glitters. So they moved all that glitters down below the first part of the Kobali front or at least that um, first act I should say first act of the Kobali front. So yeah they moved all that glitters as well so it's now above the Kobali front and it used to be below it. So that's interesting to note. So technically, this next one is between Revelations and the Kobali Front. That's where it used to be, so imagine all that glitters is taken out, and in its place is put enemies in all the usual places. So basically, you do a mission, you do a mission, a patrol mission, a mission, a patrol mission, a mission. So they're going one after the other like that. That's how it's set up. Anyway, this one's called Enemies in All the Usual Places, and this is going to be the Sakari system, Trachea system, Shavola system, and Nos Nasardin system. So the first one on it is Sakari system. So let's go find the Sakari system again. Remember, it should be moving down. So there's, uh, in fact, there's Nasardin. I see that there. The, uh, what did I just say it was called? The... Sakari, maybe it's up here. It's actually at the very top, Sakari system. And let's transwarp there. Or not transwarp but slipstream. Yeah, so they've kind of reordered some of these missions to try to make sense of it, but it still doesn't without the patrols. So, here we go. Sakari system, almost there. There's another abandoned ship. Remember, those are crafting supplies we learned in the last mission. You can find those and craft those. Here we are, Sakari. Let's patrol it. 
Remember, I'm playing in advanced difficulty mode, so it is more difficult. Captain, I think there's a priority distress call somewhere in this system. The signal's very weak, though. If we perform some scans, we should be able to triangulate the position of the distress call by narrowing down the search field. Run multiple scans to determine the exact position of the distress call. So this is cool. We're doing some Star Trek-y stuff here, finding a distress call. We'll fly into this circle and do a scan. Narrow it down further. This way a little bit. I'm looking at my mini-map to follow. Narrow it down even more. And then even more. There it is right there. A stranded freighter. Thank you for responding to our signal. It's a Talaxian. We're losing warp core containment, and it could go at any moment. We've lost almost all of our systems, including the escape pods. Please, we need your help. All right, can we get a read on them? There's not enough time to facilitate repairs, but their crew is small. We can transport them off their ship and onto ours with a limited risk. All right, let's beam them aboard. My crew is my top priority, but our cargo, it's all we have left. If you could transport it on board your ship as well, we'll be able to sell it and replace and replace our ship. All right, sigh, we have room for your cargo. Beam the survivors and the cargo. All right, we beamed them all successfully. Yay, that was fun. Of course, that's not all there is to this. And we've got some new ships coming in. Pyramid, or at least Aztec-looking kind of ships. Attention, Starship. Our scans show that your cargo hold contains the chromodynamic power modules that we have been sent to acquire. Automated personnel unit. Now, if you remember, these automated personnel units were part of a, an episode of Star Trek Voyager. So, the, again, this is another Voyager episode brought to life right here in a patrol. Something you would not have experienced if you didn't do these patrols. Chromodynamic power modules. What is the meaning of this? Uh, let me explain. I am Captain Ganex, a trader here in these parts, and these these are our customers. We uh, acquired these power cores from a salvaging operation a few weeks back. We put them out on the market, and this group offered to pay whatever price we wanted. Well, what are these modules to you? The modules are a facsimile of a technology constructed previously by one known as Balana Torres. She, along with Automated Personnel Unit 3947, were able to solve our reproduction problem with a prototype of the modules you now possess. Reproduction problem? Yes, our race is entirely artificial. Without these modules, we are unable to create new automated personnel units to replace those that are lost. The modules in your cargo bay belong to us now. We will not ask for them a second time. I need to... I would just give it to them. I mean, obviously, they were... This is a deal that the Talaxians made, not me. I just give them to them. I need to... And more of them show up. Automated Personnel Unit Kravik, and they're a different color. They're gold instead of silver. Notice that. Our scans show your cargo hold contains chromodynamic power modules that were manufactured by and belong to us. The Prelor units hold no authority here. Prepare to transport these modules to our ship. Uh, so we've got two different factions now of the Automated Personnel Units. This is getting interesting. Introduce yourselves. We are the Automated Personnel Units of the Kravik race. You will not give the modules to the APUs of the Prelar race. Mute comms. Sautra, do you know what we're in the middle of? According to the records from the USS Voyager, these two android races are still fighting a war that was programmed into them by their masters, the Prelor and the Kravik. Both these races were wiped out by their APUs when they agreed to a ceasefire, and the APUs have continued fighting ever, ever since. Lieutenant Torres did successfully create a way for them to reproduce, a violation of the Federation's prime directive. But in the end, she destroyed her prototype power core. She had hoped they would never be able to replicate the device. Apparently, they have been able to do so. Alright, so bring them back on screen. Time runs short. We will take the modules by force if we must. Is that a threat? We have a greater need for these modules than the Kravik units do. They will be handed over to us. Looks like we have a decision to make. So this is interesting. I actually have a, a, a decision here now. Your orders, sir. 
The Prelor and or Kravik APUs are likely to attempt to take the modules by force depending on your orders. Okay, so I got some options here that can actually lead to different outcomes, which is, again, something you would not experience unless you did these patrols. Alright, we will give these to the Prelor units, even though it looks like they had no intention of ever paying for them. Perhaps this can even the fight between the two types of units. Not our call to make. Destroy the cores. Neither side needs to make more soldiers for a pointless war. Or we'll keep these cores for ourselves, for now. Or we will give these modules back to the Kravik units. They are the ones who manufactured them. Okay, now, I can approach this from different angles. I can approach this as a Romulan Republic officer upholding ideals and being honorable, right? And choose the right option, which is probably destroy the cores. I don't think we should give them to them. Uh, although, I mean, that's debatable. Or, because how, how do we pick, first of all, how do we just pick one, right? Praelor or the Kravik. I can't just pick one over the other. There's no, I don't know which one to pick over the other. So the option really to me is either destroy the cores, keep them for ourselves. It's either one of these two options. Now, I'm playing a kind of a, a selfish character, you could say, a negative character, a character that is out for himself to give himself power so that he can get back to his own universe. I have this whole backstory of where Omega's from. He's from a different universe, and he's trying to get to his own universe, right? But he's not a good guy. He's really not a good guy. He wants power, so he would keep the course for himself so now I've got these two different options for my character's backstory keeping the course for ourself makes sense but for the a, a Romulan playthrough like uh, just a standard bog Romulan KDF whatever playthrough destroying the course probably makes sense I'm gonna play this true to my character my backstory is I'm Omega. I'm trying to find a way to my other galaxy. Anytime I can choose an option that leads to down that story path that I can choose, I'm going to try to go character, character aware on this. So I'm going to keep the cores for our, myself. And now I've got to destroy everybody. <laughs> Warning. Ship is under attack. Now everybody is my enemy. See, if I had given it to just one of them, I think just one of them would have been my enemy. But now the Praelor and the Kravik are both my enemies. Which makes my job a lot harder. Four shields failing. I didn't Rear shields four. failing. Hull integrity below 75%. Target's shields have failed. Hull integrity below 50%. So now I have to defeat all hostile APU ships. I've got to defeat all waves. I've got to defeat, defeat the Kravik and the Praelar. Both of them now. Warning. Well, I just made my attack. job a lot harder, basically. Yeah, look, oh crap, look at this. Two waves of both. This is, this is a fight, man. This is a fight. I'm gonna have to call in some of my Nimbus buddies here. Target's shields have failed. Hull integrity below 75%. I love the looks of their ships, though. These APU ships are beautiful. I need to uh, do a build on one of these. Target's shields have failed. Literally, the Nimbus Four shields call failing. in that I did saved my butt here. Oh, maybe not. I'm dying quick. Hull integrity below 25%. All right, I gotta, I gotta get away and, and, and get some hull strength back. I'm dying here. Now I've just got the Praelor to deal with. 
Yeah, you can see this is real difficult on uh, advanced difficulty. Warning. Ship is under attack. Target's shields have failed. Four shields failing. Hull integrity below 50%. Oh, I've got a final wave. Praelor battleship. Hull integrity Ooh. below 25%. And look how much I'm down on my whole strength here. Holy crap, holy crap. You're still firing at me. I'm out of range. My trait is kicking in. My starship trait. I love that trait, but... Uh, all right, I'm gonna have to. I need more hull strength. Okay, there we go. Warning: ship is under attack. Target shields have failed. There we go. I defeated failing. all of them, but that was really Hull rough. Integrity below 75%. Really rough, but a nice storyline for that patrol. I like that. Let's debrief. We've destroyed all the hostile ships. I wouldn't want to see what those automated personnel units could do if they had the capability to grow their numbers. Agreed. So I'm glad we didn't give them the power cores anyway. 78 Delta Marks. Yes, let's leave the system. So again, another cool storyline in a patrol. The automated personnel units direct from the TV show. I love stuff like that. Alright, the next system on our list after that patrol is the tra trachea, trachea system. Which is, uh, which is, uh, somewhere. Oh, it's way down here. So yeah, these patrols are pretty cool. Looks like I've got some uh, endeavors completed too. Not completed, but progress made anyway. So this is way down here by the Kobali. Yeah, I like these patrols, honestly. I mean, I, I still, I know I'm harping on it so much, but I really feel they never should have been removed as part of the storyline. They should be, they should not have done that. Bad, bad, bad decision. Because they matter. They actually matter. And you get Delta Marks. I mean, why not? If you're trying to build up your um, Delta reputation, they're extremely useful. Extremely useful. Patrol the Trachea system. Readings confirmed, Admiral. This is a communications array in this system. We've been using the arrays in the Genolan and Solanay spheres for all of our subspace communications back home. Having another option in case those become inoperative would be very useful. Readings show this is of similar configuration to the Herogen array that the USS Voyager found. We should approach with caution. Scan the area for ships. I wonder if there are other Herogen out there. Faint warp signatures could just be background readings or possibly echoes of our own arrival here. Nothing definitive. Your orders? Stay alert. We'll send an away team to the station, but I expect the owners could show up at any moment. So we've got one of those Herogen communications array introducing us to that in the Delta Quadrant because that does play a part in a later mission that we have to do. So again, introducing us to that in these patrols lets us know these, of course, are a thing. They're out here. It reminds us the Herogen are still a thing in the Delta Quadrant, and we have to worry about that. 
So we're going to uh, try to use this array for communications. Beam away team to array. This is definitely a Herogen comm array. We will start our scans immediately. Warp signatures inbound. Attention, alien vessel, you are trespassing in Herogen territory. Set a course out of this system immediately, and I might give you a few seconds lead time before I begin my pursuit. Huh. Then let the hunt begin. Attack! Now, where are they? Warning. Ship is under attack. Target's shields have failed. Easily dispatched. Before they can do too much damage. Uh-oh, but there's another one. Four shields failing. Hull integrity below 75%. Yeah, being a tractor beam. I got him. The Herogen are pulling back, but I think they might be calling in reinforcements. Probably. It's okay, I need some time to recover from that. There's Herogen on board the station. They must have boarded while you were fighting. We've almost completed the scans of the Array's core systems. We need reinforcements. We're headed for a shielded area near the center of the ray. Request you beam aboard a security team to hold off the borders and then use the Hand of Omega to lead the Herogen ships away from us. We can get to the core and complete our mission. Um, well, understood, good luck. Beam down another security team, no problem with that. Now we gotta defeat three reinforcements. Warning, ship is under attack. Target's shields have failed. First one down. Target's shields have failed. Four shields failing. I mean, imagine the final one will be a battleship. Right shields failing. Hull integrity below 25%. Okay, one more. Uh, it is a battleship, but look at my health. I've got no health. I need to uh, wait a second. Till I can heal. Ship is under attack. Four shields failing. Target's shields have failed. I got him pretty good on that first hit. Hull integrity below 50%. Hey, that was pretty good. They hurt me pretty badly, but man, I did a lot of damage to them on that first volley. Got them down to like half health. Sir, we've completed all our scans and the away team has set up the array to contact our homeworld. Away team is requesting beam out at this time. Good work. Let's beam them out. I have a strong subspace signal through the array. Routing through Republic channels now. Sir, it's not a clear connection, but Admiral Kararek wants to speak with you. Omega, I thought you were with the Expeditionary Force in the Delta Quadrant. We are, sir. We're gathering information on a long-range communication device. Excellent. The amount of reports on the going-on in the Delta Quadrant that make it to my desk have been lacking. Since we have this connection, perhaps you can transmit a summary of the Republic's progress so far? We will report our findings soon, Admiral. I believe the transmission completed before we lost the connection, sir. The away team gathered a lot of data on how this array works. Good. Making progress. 
learning things in the Delta Quadrants. Another solid patrol. That one was pretty short, but I like that one. It was nice and sweet. Okay, the next system we have is the Chevolia system. And uh, where was it? Do, 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 do. Chevolia. I must have missed it. Sakari, Farn, Argala, Perrin, Jarlath. Uh, do, 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 do. Not there. Taba, Trachia, New Talix. Oh, no, no. No, it must be way down here. Zykel, now Shodden. Chevrolet, it is way down there. Again, I'm not quite sure how they how the Sahin missions work. I need to look that up somehow or see because what it was is it used to be an automatic pop up. It would pop up and she would come up and say, "I've got like secret orders for you. Go to this system and do this stuff." But that hasn't happened here, obviously, because I'm not really in a mission. I'm just doing the patrols as I find them. But that see, it used to be part of the patrol missions. When you did enemies in all the usual places, it would pop up automatically. So I'm not sure how that works anymore, or if it even works. And maybe I'm all, I'm doing one of the systems that's part of it, but it's just not saying that it's part of that. It's like totally changed because it doesn't exist anymore. And I'm flying right into a star. That's nice. So anyway, we're going to Chevolia. Yeah, I'm going to have to watch some old videos of mine, actually, to see how that Sahin stuff worked. I might be doing, I need, a, I need to write down what those systems were that they took us to for those missions. Maybe I can fly there manually if I haven't done them already. I'll do that after this video, so I'm sorry I don't have that info for you right now, but I will have to look that up. It's old, it's, um, again, because they changed everything, and it's been a while since I played the original, the original, you know, format. Patrol Cervoli system. And it looks like we got a little bit of a long load time happening here. Not having terrible lag today, even though I did yesterday. Yesterday's was terrible, but still a little bit of lag here loading loading here nothing I can do about it sit back and relax I'm stuck with it just like you finally got in all right Admiral we are picking up a hail from a hierarchy ship its weapons are not armed and its shields are down now this is our first introduction with the patrols with a hierarchy ship. Hello, Hand of Omega. I was hoping someone would happen by here. My crew and I are investigating a nearby asteroid. My home office has had several reports of Vaudoir gathering in this region over the past several days. Our intelligence indicates that the Vaudoir may be building a base in the asteroid field. Perhaps, perhaps you'd do us a favor? See, this shows us that we're not exactly at war with the hierarchy. They are, fr they can be friendly and they are our friends when they want to use us to help them, but they're not our outright enemy. So that's nice. All right, what can we do? I suggest scanning that asteroid for any signs of a Vaudoir base. We'll stay here and keep watch for the Vaudoir ships. If they appear, we'll do all we can to help. So let's go scan an asteroid for Vaudoir. I do see ships in there. Move to the back side of the asteroid. I mean, I clearly see ships in there. They're not hiding all that well. Although they appear damaged. Looks like the Benthan, actually. Those are Benthan ships. Uh-oh, the hierarchy ship just warped out of the system. Strike now. Uh-oh. 
Ship is under oh, attack. Never mind, maybe they are our enemy. <laughs> They're There's got to be a reason, though, right? Target's shields have failed. Four shields failing. More hierarchy ships on the way. They love to use those intelligence powers. Target's shields have failed. Four shields failing. I took care of them pretty good. integrity below 75%. That was just two out of three. There's one more wave coming, and there it is. Ship is under attack. Target's shields have failed. Four shields failing. Hull integrity below 75%. Hull integrity below 50%. Okay, consult with your crew. So the hierarchy did set out to attack us here. But there's got to be a reason. Captain, what are your orders? We have scanned the Benthan ships near the asteroids. They have been abandoned and stripped for parts. The hierarchy ships will most likely be waiting to see if we were destroyed. Can we destroy one of these Benthan ships to trick the hierarchy? Yes, I believe that would be possible. We can scan the ships for a suitable one, then modify its warp core to explode with a resonance matching our own ship. All right. Gonna trick the uh, hierarchy itself. Modify a Benton ship. And destroy Benton oh, ship. Ship is under attack. The hierarchy ships are moving in. I could cloak. I should cloak, actually. Warning. Uh, well, ship is never under mind. attack. <laughs> We're just gonna fight. Why would I call more here? Someone tell me why I'm doing that. Target's shields have failed. Just to attack them to show them who's oh crap, that's a lot of hierarchy ships. I can't beat that many. So the Admiral of the Hand of Omega saw through our ploy. We'll have to rethink our strategy next time. Oh, don't worry. We're not going to waste this fleet on you. This whole event has caused a net loss in our profits, thanks to the amount of ships we've lost. What? One of our squadrons feels they can still eke out a profit on this by destroying them? Destroy the rogue hierarchy squadron. So, yeah. Um, this was attack. on purpose, then. They wanted to attack us for some reason. Why? Why? Target's shields have failed. They are tough. They've got so many intelligence powers and it really screws up your ship. Four shields failing. I don't know how I'm going to explain this to the home office. We show no mercy to pirates and predators. Oh, the, uh, oh, oh, crap. <laughs> the Benthans are here to help us. Warning. Ship is under attack. Nice. So, see, the Benthans are. Look at that huge battle going on. Oh, target shield. I failed. like this. Aid the Benthans in defeating the hierarchy. Now, this is what I call a patrol. <laughs> Look at this. Tons of ships to defeat, and the Benthans on our side. The police force of the Delta Quadrant, pretty much. I love it. I love it a lot. 
It's good to meet, you know, nice people instead of everybody being, like, evil. There's always enemies in Star Trek, but it's nice to meet, like, a group who actually wants to help. Like the Benthans. Police everything. I mean, that's cool, right? We need more of those kinds of races. We set course for this system as soon as our patrol missed its rendezvous. I'm sorry you had to deal with this. The hierarchy have been growing quite bold as of late. My fleet will patrol the area and apprehend any more hierarchy crews. Thank you for your assistance. See, that's cool. The Benthans are on our side. Captain, VOD warships leave a distinct warp signature that our sensors can detect, but there's no sign of it here. The hierarchy has been using the Vodwar threat to their own advantage. They sicken me. A pox on all of them. Leave the system. Okay, so the, the hierarchy really were being a bad guy here. But the Benthams helped us and we're all good. Okay, we got the final system in this patrol. It is the Nasordan system. And I saw that up here. Nasordan. Just by the Janolan Dyson Sphere. Slipstream up there. And this will be the last one for this one. I love these patrols. And I don't remember what each one is. Even though I've played these all before, I don't remember, you know, what each one specifically is. So yeah, if you're, you know, uh, asking a question about the Kabali front, you know, in parts. Previously, the Kabali front used to be in a part, uh, an act one, two, and three. And it was spread out throughout the missions. You did part one, then you did a couple of missions, and you did a couple of missions in a patrol, then you did part two, then a couple of missions in a patrol, and then you did part three. And then they combined it just all into one mission. I don't mind them combining that into one mission. But that's why it has changed places with all that glitters. Now we don't want to assist in a compen freighter. We want the Sardin, the Sordin. No, give me Nasordan. Well, this is weird. This is the right place, right? Nasordan 3, and I am looking at this. Nasordan system is part of the patrol enemies in all the usual places but it's not in a common freighter we already did that so I'm confused why it's not letting me in this is the right place But nothing is happening. Nasordan. Let me just make sure. N A S S O R D I N. Yeah. I mean, that is the right system. But so here's what I'm thinking, guys. This is my train of thought since I can't get into this system for some reason. I'm thinking this is the Sahin mission. This is the one, or Sahin, or however you say her name. This is that operative mission that you have to do. That's what I'm guessing. And because it's that operative mission that you have to do, I can't get in it and do it because it's just not part of the storyline anymore. It was part of the patrol mission when you accepted it and it was like it, it, it showed up at the very last one that you did and then it popped up and said, oh, here's a fourth one that you go do. And it's the, that uh, operative mission, but I can't get into it. Um, I'm just going to make sure here that it's not under here again. Uh, I see, I don't see it. Yeah, it's not under available.
And it's not like a mission you can go do. So, I don't know, guys. I don't know. Really strange. Just to make sure, I'm going to change instances. To make sure I'm not, like, going crazy here and not and doing something that I can't do. The sword in system. Let's go back to it again. Now I'm in a completely different instance in case there was some kind of bug or something. We'll see, but I don't think so. It's just not going to let me and do that. Which is a shame, because that means we can't do those Sahin missions. And I can't show you that. I mean, maybe they just completely removed those from the game. You guys will have to let me know. Maybe you know more than me about this. What's the deal with that? What's the deal with that? I'm going to have to go back, like I said, and see which ones were the Sahin missions, and I might be right. It might be this this one. Yeah, I mean, I'm... I'm there is no getting into this uh, patrol. So what do you know? Can't do the final one. Well, that sucks. Wow. Wow. They've really, really screwed the pooch here on uh, reorganizing these missions and removing things. It's so dumb. So I can't show you that. I guess, guys, if you want to see the Nisordan system, search my Delta Alliance playthrough when they released the Delta Alliance expansion, expansion which is the Delta Quadrant. I did a new playthrough of that system when it was brand new. So that has the original storyline flow. It has the original order there. So that means that it has those Sahin missions and then, and then the Sordan system and all that. So I guess if you want to see what that's all about, it's enemies in all the usual places and it should be a video in that series. You can search that on my channel and find it. Um, I'm going to go try to find the episode myself, that video, and watch it so I can see specifically if the Nisordan system is part of the Sahin uh, mission. And if it is, that's why I can't get into it now. And I'll put a link in the description if I do find that video. Well, and then I will find that video. And uh, I'll see what's up. So in the next video, I'll come back with an answer on what's up with all that. And I'll mark which mission or which patrols are the Sahin patrols. Yeah. So there you go. That's all we can do today then. And that is enemies in all the usual places patrol mission. Three systems there we can only do now. Well, I mean, hey, it is what it is. I can't do nothing else about it. I'm sorry. Wish I could do the Nisordan. But unless you guys have another idea, I don't know. <laughs> I just don't know. So we'll end the video right here with uh, enemies in all the usual places. And we'll do the next patrol, which is called With Friends Like These, in the next video. And we'll see how many of them we can do in that one. Alright, well, thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next one. Check out Twitter at Brent underscore Justice for updates. You can follow me there. Also, check out my Patreon page, patreon.com forward slash Brent Justice. This helps support the channel and also allows me to publish more and more videos. <laughs>